Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey girl, hey, this is Boss Vision where I share everything you need to know about making candles and we're restocking today. So I like to start off with chopping up a brand new slab of wax. This is coconut apricot cream wax on the best of the best. I get it from makesy.com premium toxin free phthalate free with a, only a food grade amount of paraffin y'all just a food grade not too too much then you just put that in your melter i got this melter from two auto i'll link it down below you're gonna want one you're gonna need one it is not like a presto pot it is next level it gets my coconut apricot cream wax to 200 degrees which is perfect and it keeps it warm but you can heat it up when you're ready to get it up to 200 degrees which is exactly what we're doing right now and it just just vibe okay and then we're making honey vanilla candles so it's a secret recipe if you want to know my secret recipe dm me and i will let you know but you gotta be subscribed you gotta be subscribed show some love before i give you my deets because this is my number one best-selling scent honey vanilla it has more than just honey vanilla i get scents from candle science via candle supply and this secret vendor so definitely let me know if you want to know about that and i'm just evenly distributing them you can't just leave them in there you know to die you gotta make sure you love your candles so here i'm getting my luxury dream tins i get these from dreamvessels.com taking them out brand new fresh out the box um i do seal mine double seal them but they come pre-sealed too just to make sure they don't spill they do have a seam in them cost effective and so beautiful definitely recommend 10 out of 10. i'm just wicking these down i use these secret wicks that um if you want to know what they are dm me i got your back girl but i put them wicks in there and they have helped me tremendously long term as it relates to always getting a strong hot throw I always getting an even melt pool and just having a vibe for all my customers sometimes i'll make these candles and burn them myself and be sitting in my room like i cannot believe i did that i cannot believe i am this girl i i'm that girl you really got to get to that point with your recipe so if your recipe doesn't make you feel like that you need to keep testing never give up don't give up if you need help with your recipes i have an ebook it's called candle making survival guide it's on candle making survival guide.com the link is in the description as you can see that wax got melted with the two auto so now we are pouring we are ready to pour our 200 degree fahrenheit uh, wax and then we just add in our fragrance immediately a little tiktok had to be made a little tiktok but i'm just adding my fragrance immediately boom baby and then i stir for two minutes if you're not stirring for two minutes what are you doing girl get it how you live girl do it stir for two minutes it will change the game look at that thorough you know productive effective now we're slowly pouring take your time it's not a marathon it's a it's not a sp sprint it's a marathon you know what i mean it's not a battle it's a war so it's slow steady wins the race like just slow down your pour it's too often that you want to pour and aggressively splash you don't want to splash if you will pour slow it's going to cure slow it's going to cure at a quality rate okay take your time messed up okay i poured too much in one of them but you know what my crazy self did i took that can i picked up that candle and i dumped it in the other one and you just saw me do that and i'm not afraid or ashamed and then i just wiped it up with some packing tissue paper and you know what this is a real channel so bear with me and then i took some chip clips are my wig clips I link them down below too. I use chip clips as my wick clips and they are perfect. They help with such a large diameter of these three wick candles. They never fail me. The metal ones always fail me. These are always going to be straight and perfect. And that's why I like accuracy. So it doesn't matter what the manufacturer is. It doesn't matter if it says candle on it. It says chip clips. These are for your Doritos or your Lay's. Oh, I had a dip. But you know what? Bosses take losses. So we had a dip. And I pulled that chip clip out of there. Got it, got up and got itself out of there. Okay, so here we are succeeding. Success is in the eye of the beholder. And as you can see, I have OCD, so I like to make them match in each candle. Had to let that cure for 24 hours and then I took off my chip clips and trimmed these wicks. Okay, favorite part. Make sure you trim them low. One fourth, one fourth, trim them low. Then I add on a warning label linked in the bio as well. Super important to have that warning label to warn your customers. Then I add on my labels. 
I have a video on how to make labels too, linked in the bio as well. That is it, you guys. That is all I do to restock my number one bestsellers. Comment below if you need some more help. And if you need some self-guided help, buy the ebook, also linked in the description. Love y'all. See y'all. Bye y'all.